I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ruby here. We guys are doing fantastic today. We've got a great video with the Druid titled uh, Go Pick on Someone Your Own Size. And this is going to be awesome, but actually displays the power of what the Druid can do when you slow roll it and take your time. Be patient. Before we get on, like, subscribe, bubble, and below. Appreciate all the support. 4,000 subs. Our next uh, goal, we're going to do another premium giveaway. So let's get right to it. To Druid, what do I like about it so much? It is one of the best knife fighters in the game for me, for my playstyle. Again, that's just for me. I enjoy it. Um, just the fact that you're just focusing on uh, pure gunboat BPM like you're seeing right here, nosing in, you got the quick smokes, you got the daring hull, the speed, the agility, uh, acceleration, and you're doing a lot of damage. And again, I've always said never ever let a druid uh, player flank your team because it will, as you can see in the video, ruin your day and create so much havoc. Uh, the uh, downside is the uh, AA is trash. Um, Obviously, it's one-sided. You have no torpedoes. And uh, if somebody is rushing the Druid, which is the counter to the, the Druid, so if you ever want to counter it, you rush it uh, sparingly or conservatively or have some backup with you, uh, but it really has no torpedoes. It really all they can do is nose in and back up and back forth pretty slowly. The reverse is pretty slow. The acceleration is very good once you get past zero knots, but anything in reverse is pretty slow to catch up to. And uh, obviously, the... Health pool, if you build for it, you can get up to 28,000, but we're up to 25 because I'm focusing on gunboat DPM, and the concealment is not as great, but you, we don't care. We're going to go ahead and try to flank the crap out of this team, and fortunately, I have backup behind me right here. We're going to go ahead and spot uh, the Burgonia right here and just take as much damage as we can off of this player right here. Now, he is kiting away, which is the only optimal solution to do at this point, but it does not matter. The improved angles of the AP shells on the, de or the uh, sorry Druid are much much better than the vampire and the daring and you as you can see giving uh you know even 68 degrees to 70 degrees is still providing a little bit um still enough damage for me and i have improved ap shell over here and you can see right there he's just turning and walking right into him i'm just hitting the superstructure and this is just walking the shells on the target and boom splash one here he goes down that's our first kill for the game in Burgone goes down and now we're going to go ahead and take out the rest of this flank Meanwhile, again, normally as a destroyer player, you're going to be uh, capping or contesting caps or spotting, but not this time. We are literally going to be pretending like we are a cruiser, and we are literally just going to go plow down and mow down the entire flank, giving our team a little bit advantage at our cap because that brings our Holland to come in to cap for us, as you can see in the mini map there, as well as our other battleship player to come in and support our team. So really the biggest thing, and, and you notice I'm not just rushing to my death. I'm just going like quarter speed, three quarter speed, just going a little bit slow, trying to figure out, let the map actually turn, develop for you in your favor. Uh, I watched a lot of videos that um, a lot of guys have been showing me, and I'm, I'm really taking interest in it. They're saying a lot of players and randoms normally, the average player will freak out. If they're spotted, if they're in a bad situation, they'll just freak out, make a wrong decision. So I've actually learned to actually play on that and kind of watch what players do patiently before i used to just rush in guns blazing hair on fire and throttle to the wall and just to seeing what would stick and what would hit and i've actually noticed this slow roll gameplay actually plays out a lot where i'm just waiting for a team to really make mistakes and like you see right here broadside uh, uh edgar right here and really you're just nose in as a druid and i'm just gonna wait and then he's gonna focus fire on me Meanwhile, giving up his broadside to some other player on my team, which he didn't realize was there, and boom, right there. Exactly what our job is, is literally just to distract a player long enough. Edgar is only firing AP at us, so I know it's not going to do too much damage to us while we're nosing. The bread and butter of the Druid is being nosed in, having that quick pop smoke, and we've got our Hydro up as well to figure out, hey, what torpedoes are going to be launched at us. So really... Uh, we just got to be careful here and not to hit this torpedo. I'm really bad at this sometimes. These torpedoes, I, these angles, I mean, I'm just not getting the hang of it. And we got the Edgar in full retreat right there. Fillers Brawler active with Adrenaline Rush, and we're going to get a lot of shells on target. Hopefully this Edgar goes down right here. And there's nothing more this guy can do other than run away. And you can see the Kremlin is also reversing or going back to his spawn. Meanwhile, we are putting so much pressure and so much distraction as a good destroyer player should be doing that the rest of our battleships are in and behind us and actually pushing forward. It's exactly what I've been trying to get players to do is your DD player leads from the front to encourage pushing. And usually that is the case in randoms or just the average player base just is too afraid to actually move forward that the only thing you can do is rely on your destroyers and now I guess you could say submarines nowadays, but 
uh, I digress. If there's a submarine in the game, nobody pushes. So it's good that there's no submarines in this, but you're going to be have to be that destroyer player to push forward and encourage teams, hey, let's move forward. Let's take a cap. Let's take the fight to the enemy. And that's why I really, really enjoy the Druid a lot because it really does take the fight to the enemy. Checking on the stats here, what kind of radar and hydro is up? And uh, making sure that I'm not going to be as a good player, not to make sure or not to be caught in somebody's radar or hydro that I'm not aware of. Again, CV player just dropped smoke to conceal the cover and retreat of his friendly teammates, which is a good thing. We are going to have to pop smoke as well because we do not want to take any more AA damage right here. AA is trash uh, on the drill, but I've noticed it actually does rack up some decent kills. Uh, <laughs> not, but not sustained, but you can do some damage to airplanes. Not saying it's the worst. But it, it's something, but, but whatever, I digress. Anyways, they're still plummeting shells into the Kremlin here. Now that smoke screen, I'm the only one spotting apparently, so I have to make sure that I continuously push forward so my rest of my team can have line of sight with our targets so we can continue firing. AA is still uh, around us with a spotter plane, hopefully with the new rework that is solved and fixed because no more spotting with these spotter planes. Really ridiculous. Anyways, let's see if we can knock out this Edgar. That way we can go push unabated by anybody else. Ooh, nice shot on the Columbo there. Taking out the Edgar, and we are going to go ahead and pummel free reign. This is my favorite part of the game here. Just tick, ticking points up just by shooting at ships that will not shoot back at you because they're too preoccupied and they're kind of broadside to you. And just look at what the Drew can do. Just plowing the AP, AP, AP right there. Points are ticking up like I'm just hitting the jackpot right here on the slot machine. And we're just going to keep on drilling this guy right into the ocean floor and he is going to go down right that is, that is exactly what you want to do in the druid well meanwhile watching the uh cv drops on us as well again i like the quick acceleration of the druid as you can see right there and again constant drops on us again we are a bigger distraction to every to the carrier than anybody else we're going to take probably one torpedo here but that's okay scratch the paint not a big deal we're going to keep on pressing forward cv is right in front of us right here here is our prime target and druids love to eat cvs for lunch once they're spotted and it's exactly what I, I enjoy about, and I guess that's why it brings me back to the game, is just being able to see a site like this. Isn't it so gorgeous? Just like the sunshine on the horizon. You're just going to see it as you come around the corner. A full broadside CV, and the AP shells are just going to melt this guy to the floor. And let's see how long it takes us to do this while we're having some supporting shots right there from our buddies. But it's okay. We're just all in this together. Notice that we are just, these AP angles are awesome. That's why I like it a lot. And you're getting these nice full pins right here. And you're just taking up 780, 780, 780 all the time. And it's just nothing more gratifying than what you're about to see right here, ladies and gentlemen. And boom. There we go. Activating our consumable with our commander wheel. Get an extra heal. That is definitely a must for us in the long run of the game. Splash 2 right there goes down uh, for us. And guess who's all that's left for us right now. And this is a great display of the super ship main and the druid right here. And just watch what we're going to do to this main. And you know what? I've always said, you know what? Size doesn't matter in this game. Let's pick on anybody because we are going to give this guy a run for his money. And we got support in the back, hopefully, right? So guess what? A main's got 16 guns of pure 406 millimeter guns as a super ship. But we don't care. We're going to keep plumbing and watch. He is going to fire at us because apparently we are a juicier target than the two other battleships. They're looking at him and giving him broadside. And uh, for some darn reason, I'm a bigger target and worse uh, play. I, mean, I guess they're thinking the Druid is the worst. It tells you if they're shooting at you, you are literally deadlier than a battleship. So I'm just letting you guys know, whoever's shooting at you and they're, they're treating you like a priority, that means you are more powerful on the team than anybody else. And that's why I like the destroyer player role because everybody's shooting at you and you are proving to be a bigger threat than the bigger battleships behind me that are full health. Notice the, the got Conquer behind me will be full health almost the whole time because guess what i'm drawing all the fire i have already a million potential damage right there and we're just going to kill it and keep ticking away and getting as much damage as we can and the meanwhile you know, we have to use these smokes otherwise this um the 16 guns although they may not seem accurate at the time but man they do pack a punch you saw right there you just took a few grand off of me and we are not going to sit around and wait for that we're going to keep ticking away as much damage as we can because this will have to prove to be uh, the case in the long run because every hit point counts, ladies and gentlemen, because you do not want to let this man come back to haunt you. I've always said that. If you are going to shoot at a player, make sure you whittle him down and place him to the ground and make sure he doesn't come back to haunt you. And uh, that's that's my biggest uh, philosophy right there. And here we go. we got full line of sight with the main. He's about 47,000, but he's got that improved F key. I believe it's just reduction in the burning down damage. But don't worry. It doesn't matter. We're shooting AP shells anyways. We're going to head and open fire. And let's see if we can get 
another 20k off of him right here. Let's see how's it gonna go. Man, that Conqueror just woofed that shot right there. And this notice his superstructure is gonna get saturated with all this AP shell damage. Now again, he's firing at us because we are a bigger threat to him. Our smoke is now back on from cooldown and hopefully we don't take a major hit. Oh my gosh, man, those shells. I really hate those 406 millimeter uh, American shells. They are devastating when they're plummeting from the sky. And uh, fortunately we have more smokes. That's why I like the Druid slash Daring quick British smokes because they're definitely awesome. Get out of jail free card. He takes a shot at our buddy, hopefully, right? Yeah, he's not shooting us. I would be so shocked if he blind-fired into our smoke right now because that tells you that we are bigger and scaring the crap out of him more than the battleship behind me right there. Anyways, he's taking more shots right there. Hopefully, yep, now our buddies are finally doing some help right here. Oh, we're up to 189,000 damage here. We're going to come out of our smoke screen, get that Fearless Brawler active again, and see if we can get some more shells. We're going to wait till he fires to give us a little bit of breathing room here, so... Just holding my shot right here. Let's see. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he thinking? He's still looking at me. That's funny because he's got a conquer behind me. He can easily switch targets. So let's see if he fires. Come on, buddy. Take a shot. Look at this. Go re going. I don't know where this man's going, but uh, and there he hit the F key right there. You can see the lights on his uh, his conning tower in the tower there. He is F keying it so he doesn't burn down reduction in damage. Okay, he fires. That means it gives us opportunity right now. You take the fight to him, and let's see if we can get uh, see if we can get this guy out of the game. Oh, it's only eleven thousand damage. I mean, eleven thousand damage. If I do seven eighty a second, we should go down in about ten to fifteen seconds here, right? Let's count it up here. Okay, he took another fire shot at me here. Let's see here. If I can aim at this guy, I'm gonna do a little uh, shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake, and he misses that shot a little bit there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds. Oh my goodness! Thank goodness. He goes down. I say thank you so much for you guys in the back helping me out. Oh, my goodness. His last shots hit me. Uh, at least it ticked up my potential damage right there. 1.385 potential damage. That at 1.3 million. So insane in the membrane. But, oh, wait. There's a druid. My fellow druid enemy players right here. Let's see if we can actually hunt him down. Hopefully his health is not as bad as mine. Or it's worse than mine. Here we go. Oh, thank goodness. He's low health. Take a quick shot right there, right off the bat. And boom, he goes down. That is splash four for us right there. And almost taking the the death shot right there. Fortunately, we survived that one, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how the game goes. Build will be at the end of the screen if you want to take a build up my Druid build. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was literally a crazy, crazy match. And we had to do everything we could to get that main out of the game to make sure that our team seals the victory. But as always, appreciate all the support. Like, subscribe, button below at 4,000. Doing another premium giveaway. And I appreciate all those that have said hello in the channel. Make sure when you see me out there, say hello and say hi. Let's build a better community. Have fun. Learn something from it at the same time. And as always, you guys stay safe. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.